Got one, got one. Oh dang. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Super pumped for this one. It's gonna be a blast. Basically the plan is we're out here in um, a kayak doing some solo fishing. It is a beautiful day in Kaneohe Bay. But basically, the plan is we're gonna go for a bunch of twow. Um, I've seen this school of probably like 25 to 30 decent sized twow that hang around this one little sand pocket in between these two coral reefs. That is what we're going for. I've tried diving for them. They seem super smart. Um, I think a lot of people just tend to dive here and they are not coming close enough within range. I wanna get these invasives off the reef and I'm determined to do so. So we're gonna bring the two fishing rods out today. I've got squid um, in a bag. That's what we're gonna be using for bait. We're just gonna dunk the squid. Hopefully the twow will strike and hopefully we bring enough fish back to make some delicious fish tacos once again. So make sure hit the subscribe button, keep watching to the end of this video. Hopefully we go ahead and catch something. And made it to our spot. We're gonna go ahead, drop the anchor right off there. And we'll go ahead and just drop the bait. One on this side, the other somewhere over here. All right. got something that was so fast jeez look at him go nice to wow oh that's exactly what we wanted oh my gosh that was that was so quick that was so dang quick oh it's a nice to wow nice all right so this is a target species oh jeez oh fatty what a Oh man. Alright, well that's what we're going for and it looks like the bite is on today. That was so fast. There we go. Nice to wow. Nice snapper for sure. Alright. First fish of the day. It's a good one. All right, I'm gonna try and figure out how to string up these fish now because I forgot to bring my dang stringer. And I don't even know if I brought a knife, so I always paddle back for my stringer. Nice, that'll do. All right, there we go. This can act as a small stringer in a, in a sense. Gosh, that was a fast bite. There you go, fatty. All right, I'm gonna rebait this guy and then cast him out, but first I'm gonna make sure that all my other rods are rigged up before that happens again. Oh, that's not good. Dang. Oh, dang. That's not good. And no wonder I'm not getting any bites. The freaking shark right there. Look at him. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. guy just a small one well, I was casting over there and that's ten, that seems to be where they're aggregating so oh we're gonna keep on 
keep on going that way. Bruh. Another 12. Tax man will probably come back for this guy. Ah, that's the second one. Second snapper of the day. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and rebait some bait and cast it back to that same spot. Got one, got one. Woo! There we go. Third one. Oh, there we go. I think he might have stolen my bait. Third beautiful snapper of the day. Ah, there we go. Third and last snapper of the evening. Finally, finally, finally got him. I've been getting skunked like, you know, quite a few times before this guy hit. So, um, yeah, super, super stoked to finally get another invasive to allow so i got three in total off the reef um and all my bait's gone so i didn't take much um that shark came up towards the beginning but i haven't seen him again since so um, i call it a success um i'm gonna go bring these fish home we're gonna make some sort of dish maybe some fish tacos we'll see and anyways my gopro is on 10 percent i'm gonna go ahead um dispatch this guy and then we'll head over back to home base what is going on guys um it is day two we are back out here this is just a day or two later um and we are going to pound some more invasive snapper i brought one rod this time because i only used one last time um and today is looking beautiful i brought more bait than last time so we should be able to reel in more home and the conditions are a little bit less favorable than the other day definitely some rain it's definitely overcast but we're not gonna let that stop us. These invasives need to go, so that's the plan today. Let's go. Another great day of fishing. Got one. There we go. Ooh. 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 Oh, got him out. Yep, there he is. There he is. Ooh. There we go. Oh, freaking finally, man. Pops up. Oh. Beautiful. Man. Oh, came out of nowhere. Nice, nice fish. Alright guys, so we got two snapper down in the boat. Um, 
pretty interesting day of fishing. The conditions were just not great, but we've got our catch. So we're gonna go home and I'm going to show you exactly how to make a delicious fish and chips tartar sauce type of meal. Um, there's a lot of blood in the water. I'm not gonna be surprised if the shark comes up, but my battery's super low. So let's head back to the house and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. So today we're gonna be making some beer battered snapper. It's a very simple recipe. Got the fillets all filleted up. And the first step is just putting some pepper on your fillets. You're gonna wanna make sure you put them on both sides, nice and even. As Soon as you're done with that, just take some uh, salt, put it in your hand, and we're gonna sprinkle some salt on both sides as well. Again, nice and even, good for the flavor. You can use whatever oil you want. I prefer olive oil, and you're gonna set it to a medium high heat of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, after that, we're gonna take some flour and you're gonna get about a cup of flour, put that into a large bowl, and then crack one egg into that bowl. When you're done with that, add some pepper to the mix. This will give it some good flavor. And once you're done with the pepper, add some salt to the mix as well. Trust me, this makes a difference. You can use whatever salt you want. I prefer Morton's. After that, you can give it a nice whisk um, just to start up the process. This is optional. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill um, a beer of your choice. Typically, light beer works best for uh, cooking in this way. And you're going to pour in about a cup to a cup and uh, a third, somewhere around that region. You can eyeball it. Slowly, you're gonna mix the beer into the batter mix. And as you do this, you're going to take breaks and whisk the mix together to where it's a liquidy um, consistency. Keep adding until you get the desired consistency that you want. So as soon as you have the desired consistency, just take your fillets with uh, some sort of tool. I'm using chopsticks and you're going to lather up each fillet inside of the mix. Make sure that it's soaked nice and well. Once you're done with that, you can pick up your fillet and put it into the oil, which should already be at the desired temperature. In order to make sure that your oil is at the desired temperature, you can always get a thermometer um, for cooking. This always helps me out and lets me know when I'm ready to cook. Continue this process until all of the fillets are lathered up and sitting in oil. Let them cook until they're golden brown. I don't really have a certain time, I just wait. And then take them out whenever they're ready. You can serve this with your favorite tartar sauce. In this example, my little sister makes a really good fish taco sauce that goes really well with beer battered fish. Also caught some ahole ahole and decided to fry them up in the remaining oil as well and they taste delicious too. Let me know if you want to see an ahole ahole catch and cook and I'll cook one right up. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed guys. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of more adventures to come. Next episode is going to be a golden trevally spearfishing trip with a good buddy of mine. So make sure you stay tuned. God bless always and y'all have a great day. See you on the next adventure.